if you ever wanted to build your own AI agent but feel like it was too complicated, this changes everything. Mastra AI is like Versal AI SDK, but for building agents. I've been using it and I'm loving it. And in this video, I'll show you why it's a game changer and how you can start building AI agents today, even if you're not a developer. Agents are a significantly harder engineering challenge compared to basic LLM chatbot. And Mastra Agent SDK give us an SDK that has multi-models, tools, workflow, memory, and more. But first, what are agents? So you see, tools are something that follow instruction, but doesn't make decision. What an agent is something that makes decision based on what it knows. Tools execute tasks and agents decide how. So since agents can make decisions, they can take on roles that traditionally require human judgment. And that means that agent can replace people. So agents been historically I'm saying historically, but it's just been a couple of years because in AI, one year is like a decade. So people have been trying to build agents out there. I have, and it's been a really big challenge. I actually built this app called RN Code and behind the scene, this is an agentic framework. And the mess that I that you have to deal with when you're building your agent, when you have to build a knowledge base and then a memory management and then, and then tool registry and so on. So there's a couple of framework out there that makes things easier, but it's just, Quite of a mess it's not the easiest thing out there to do and that's because agents need context they need memory they need tools api security and infrastructure just to function right so you need quite a lot of things in order to make things works and this is a really big pen when you're building agent if you have to do everything from scratch every single time just to show you how complex it is to build agents you just have to look at the ai agent stack and you have so many different components, right? You have over here the vertical agents, agent hosting and serving. You have the observability. If you want to make sure to like see what's happening, when people are prompting, if they're getting any issues, just think about it like debugging for LLM. You have the agent framework that you can choose from, you know, Lang Graph, Autogen, and so on, crew.ai. You have to handle memory because you need to have, you know, short-term and long-term memory. You have tools, libraries that you can use or and tools because you need to give your agents tools. You have sandboxes and you have the different models that you can use. And finally, you have storage. So there are a lot of different components that you need to think about. So if you have to think about this architecture from scratch every single time, it just level up the complexity a little bit. Like I said, there's been a couple of platform out there that try to make it easier for people to build Asian. We have land graph that make it easier to not only like build Asian, but also have different model that you can use within the same chat or same experience for the user. You have crew.ai that so far has been one of the leading platform for building agents and their SDK come with Python and TypeScript. You have Llama Index and there's more. This is OpenAI that released this experimental framework called OpenAI Swarm. You have Google Cloud Vertex AI Agent Builder and you have Microsoft Autogen and much more. So there's all of these tools out there, but none of them, in my opinion, has been addressing the problem of building Asian easily and effectively every single time. I felt that when I was using crude AI, for example, that it, it was still a little bit more complex than I wanted to. I was just hoping that there was something out there that was as simple to use as Versal AI SDK. Luckily for us, I don't know if you guys remember Gatsby. So Gatsby was this React-based framework that was really popular. They got acquired by Netlify. And all this time, I was wondering what this team has been working on. And luckily for us, they've been working on something pretty cool behind the scene. And they've actually been building an agent SDK for developers. And this to address, you know, the next million AI developers. And that include Vibe Cutters. So if you're not technical and, you know, you want to build agents, you're right at home with this. So this tool is Mastra. And this is incredible. So if you're familiar with AI SDK, and I've made a video where I'm covering that in detail. So AI SDK is a framework that Versal built to make it easier for you to add AI features to your app. If you want to add a chat box, they have UI component to do that. If you want to add different model support, they have ways to do that. So they build this layer on top of the different framework to just simplify the workflow of building for like AI applications. And until then, it was, it was pretty cool, but one thing that they weren't addressing was agents. And I find that 
Mastra did an incredible job at addressing the problem of agents because agents have, like I said, a lot of complexity and layers that you have to think about, right? So let me show you Mastra. It's actually pretty simple to install. So all you have to do is literally run this command npx create master and i can show you a quick example over here so we're going to run that right here on the computer so it's asking me the name of my project i can call it for example crypto agents i've been wanting to build a crypto agent for a while so let's call it crypto agents okay so it's installing all the dependencies as you see it's installing master which is the main dependencies and then master cli that will allow us to run the command master dev which i run here over here if you see it on my other agent that i built and that's the one I'm going to demo you in this video. But right now, I just want to show you quickly how easy and simple it is to install it because it is pretty straightforward. Then the next step, you will ask you, where should we create the master file? You know, you can just type enter for SRC. You can decide that, you know, you want it to add uh, agents. Obviously, if you're going to build a agentic framework, you want to make sure to add agents. This is why it's recommended. But you also have the ability to add workflows. And I'm, I'm going to show you in a little bit what workflows are because this is very important, the ability to build workflow as well. Right now, I'm just going to say agents, press enter. Do I want to add a tool? Yes. So tools are, you know, when you're giving skills and ability to your agent. So I'm going to say yes. It's going to ask you what kind of provider you want to use. Think about it, the model that you want to use, like OpenAI, you know, ChatGPT, so on, Entropic, Cloud, or Grok, and so on. So those are the options that they're presenting right now. But remember, this is built on top of AI SDK, and AI SDK gives you access to a lot of various different models. So let's pick OpenAI for now. And then he's gonna ask you to enter your OpenAI key and you can enter it now or you can just say skip for now. And then he's gonna ask you if you want some examples. So we're gonna say yes, so I can show you the, the example that he come up with. And then once you do that, you can head over to the projects and I believe that we've already installed it, but let me just double check that everything is installed correctly. And then all you do is running AstraDev. Mastra Dev is this little playground that they built to make it easier for you to interact with Mastra. So let's have a look. So if I head over to 411, so this is the playground environment. And as you can see, it has added an agent for me as an example, which is a weather agent. And it has added a tool, which is the weather agent tool. And you can use the tool directly from here, which is so cool. So if I, if I wanted to say Toronto to test the tool and submit it, it will return me the temperature. So the tool is working right away from the get-go, which is pretty amazing. And then you have workflows. If you click on chat with agent, then you can start communicating with your agent. I haven't added my OpenAI key, so I don't believe that this is going to work, but let's try. Yes, you need my API key. So once you add your API key, this should be able to work. What I can do instead is show you an example with my own application that I built recently called Meme Agent. For context, let me show you what I've been trying to do. So I've been working on this app and I wanted to build an agent that can handle booking for me. So, you know, booking scheduling. So user comes here, select the date for the booking and I submit it. And I wanted the agent to handle everything else in the back end. So I'm going to show you what I built for that. So let's over to meme agents this is the tool that i built and we're going to run master dev because i've already added master dev over here so we can see the code as you can see i've added an agent called calendar agents i've given it name calendar assistant some instruction of what it's going to be able to do i've also added um, tools so the tools were defined over here in calendar tools and in here i've defined a couple of things so one i gave it access obviously to my my keys for Google Cloud so I can allow it to access my calendar. And then I've added the get booking calendar tool. I've also added a way for it to create events in my calendar and a way to get the next booking available, a way to update the booking. And those are the tools that I've essentially added. And I've done all of that using the agent here on Cursor. And it was pretty simple. All I had to do was adding a doc. So I added doc. I've added this specific doc called uh, Mastra. I wonder if there's an easy way for me to show you my doc. So the way you add doc here is usually, you just tap the name of the doc that you want to add. For example, if I want to add Mastra 2 and I didn't exist, I will click add new doc and I'll copy and paste the link of the doc over here. So if I wanted to copy the, the Mastra doc, I will go to Mastra.ai and then click on docs right here and then copying this link. And all I will do is doc, add new doc, and paste it. And once you paste it, you will just ask you like to add like the name for your doc, and he knows the prefix, and it will just like start importing everything for your doc. 
So once I've done that, I was able to call my doc over here. So this is the master doc that I've added. You can see that it has added on some of the different pages. And all I did was, based on this doc, I asked it to create me an, a calendar agent that was going to be able to modify my Google Calendar. And I told it to also add a tool that would allow it to essentially read the calendar and update queries on the calendar and so on. And that's pretty much all I did. And that was pretty much it. And then once I've done that, then I it generated everything I needed. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you are actually running the Master Playgrounds. Uh, so this is my calendar assistant right here. And this is the tools. I've already added some of my environmental variable, uh, just to show an example. So I've added my OpenAI key. This is obviously not my OpenAI key, so this is an example. I've added my Google Client ID, Google Client Secrets. So to, to do that, you have to go on the Google console and add it. And you need to have a refresh token. And so for this one, I had to create a, a specific page that will allow the user to, to log in and then essentially like return the token because Google API need a refresh token when using the calendar. So I had to create a, a page for doing that. And there are services out there that make it easier to handle something like that. Um, there's Compose IO, which I can show you after. So I've done that. I was able to, to run some of my query over here, but let's use the chat right here. So I can say, for example, what's my next booking? Your next booking is a meeting with the A60Z general partners. Here are the details. The way you can create a booking will just be by typing create a booking for tomorrow at 3 p.m. For Let's just submit that and I'll show you what happened because it's going to ask me information that I'm missing. So, right, so I'm going to say Jendo. I'm going to put the staff is Aurora Gordon. There you go. So let's see if he's able to create it now. It seems like you're providing information about a booking, but in more detail to proceed, could you please specify the date and time for the booking? So the date for the booking is tomorrow at 3 p.m. and it's going to be one hour. <laughs> I need a little bit of information. Could you please provide the following detail? Looks like he wants me to provide the information in this format. In my session file, I say that you should expect to receive it like this which might be one of the problem. So I can just like submit that like this because I wanted it to receive a structured output. So I'm gonna say, uh, add this booking to my calendar. And I believe that with, even without the without the bracket, you could submit something for it to understand it. So as you can see, he has created the booking because I've provided all the information. And I would have worked if I, for example, just wrote you know the name, John Doe, then the name of the staff and so on. I think you would have got it. But that was my mistake from my own instruction over here. You can actually head over to instruction and improve it directly from here and it's versioning, which makes it super easy for you to test different versions. So you can use enhance and then add comment to it if you wanted to. And also you have access to endpoints. So if you wanted to access or test your, your agent through REST API, you can just run those curl queries in the, in your backend. Obviously you need to make sure that this is running. And you should be able to access it. And yeah, so this is pretty cool. So let me tell you a little bit about Mastra. Some of the things that you'll get when you'll install it will be the agent memory and tool calling, the workflow graph. So if you've used something like Langflow before, the workflow graph like this, where you can connect things, you can actually do that with Mastra. They've actually come up with a really cool architecture. It just makes sense. You will add the steps. And for each step function, you will just pass what you want it to do in each of the steps. And I find it a lot easier to do and use than having to do it from scratch. So this is allowing to build tool like Langflow really easily. So if you want to build something like that, where you allow the agent to chain a, a chain of actions, a prompt, then that is something that you can use to do that. You can create multiple step, say what happened after. So this is really, really a clean way for you to implement workflow without having to do it from scratch. They have RAG, Retrieval, Augmented Generation, built for you as well. All the logic behind the scene, they made it so much simpler to interact with it. They created function like chunk. It's really, really cool and simple to use. Again, this is an SDK, so everything that you've done in the past, if you've done that before, or even if you haven't done it before, this is a lot easier to do it with this than what you will do if you're doing that on your own. So if you can feed that to your AI, it's going to be a lot easier for you to implement that and actually follow what's going on because Obviously, it simplifies a lot of the process and make it super easy to integrate with.
I went through their release notes when they released it February 20th, when they released the beta. And in it, they explain a lot more some of the stuff that they've added. So like I was saying, they've added functions like chunk, embed, upstart, query, re-rank for, for rag, you know, function like steps, then after suspend and resume for the workflows. They've added uh, more things. So they've added the playground that I've showed you with, that you can run in your own backend. So oftentimes when you build your own agents, if you don't have a playground, you end up just like running things in your console a lot of the time. The fact that they've added the playground makes things a lot easier to interact with. They've added a very simple way for you to add memory. You can see when I was using the playground right here, they actually mentioned that my agent currently doesn't have memory right here. If you don't remember previous message to enable memory, go in the dock. So if you click over here, adding memory is actually pretty straightforward. You see here, I have my agents. And one thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you define your agents, so when you create an agent like this one, you're going to need to register that agent. And then I've registered my agent over here. These are my agents, and then I pass the, the agent right here. In it, when you are defining your agents, you're also going to be able to, to easily set up memory. You're going to be able to find a new memory, and then you're going to be able to pass different memory options. So how many messages you need to remember, for example. And you have a lot more capabilities that you can implement. So this is really, really cool. And we talked about MCP before in the channel. They've added a tool registry support via MCP. So you can declare all tools in one place instead of writing them manually. You can restrict which tool each agent can use to maintain safety and permission. And then you can also use the playground to, to see how it's working. Really, really cool. So a lot of cool stuff that I've added that makes it a lot simpler to build agents. One of the best resources that I found for learning how to use it is obviously the documentation, but also the YouTube channel. If you go on the YouTube channel of Mastra, you're going to see a ton of video that break down, you know, how they build a stock agent, a chef, and more. So if you just like literally sit down and take the time to watch some of those videos, especially if you're getting started with Mastra, it's going to give you enough context on how to use it. And then you can just like literally just work with your uh, AI ID to implement some of those features. I find that that was also a really cool way for me to learn how to use it. And it's actually pretty straightforward to understand. And one more thing, but not least, this is open source. So you have access to everything they've done behind the scene in order to build this. Now, if you want to add tools to your agents, there's this platform called Composio. And I haven't seen any video or explanation from Mastry saying that you can implement that, but I believe this is actually possible. And that would be a really cool tool to actually upgrade some of the things you can do with Mastra. Because Composio is, is a really cool tool that allows you to get access to 250 tools. And there's some things that you're able to do in it that you won't have to deal with. For example, when I installed Google Calendar, I had to create a specific page to log in with my Google Calendar for it to get the refresh token. When you're using Composio, you can actually install Google Calendar and you won't have to do all of those steps. So they have the tool over here. So I can install Google Calendar on Composio, log in with my account, and give access to that tool to my agents by giving it access to Composio. And Composio have over 250 tools, and really big companies actually using Composio. Companies like 11x.ai are using Composio to do their AI SDR. So this AI SDR that you see over here is actually using Composio behind the scene. And this company raised $50 million in their Series B and they've implemented that everything that you see behind the scene by using Composio. So Composio is built for dev. It makes it a lot easier also to give tools to your agents and Mastra makes it easier for you to build agents. So I believe if you combine the two, you know, you have your Mastra that allow you to build your agent really quickly and you're using Composio uh, if you want behind the scene to make it easier to get access to different tools. I think this is going to be a really smart and flexible workflow for you to build things quickly in the edge of AI. Mastra, make sure to check it out. Link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And by the way, I'm always surprised by how many of you still haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure to hit subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And that encouraged me to make more content like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.